So on Monday, uh, author Ty Nahisi Coates interviewed Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Now, they were uh, doing this at MLK Now, which was an event hosted by the organization Blackout for Human Rights. So now, uh, look, I I'm going to urge you to watch the whole event because it actually is tremendous. Oh, man. Oh, now I'm starting to talk like Trump. Sorry. <laughs> oh, boy. Bigly. I'm in bigly trouble. Um, anyway. I, again, I urge you to watch the whole event. It's a fantastic event. Uh, Coates and, and AOC, they had talked about a lot of different topics from her childhood to and political awakening, of course, to MLK Jr.'s legacy, uh, to him fighting about uh, or fighting for economic justice and against war, American imperialism, uh, and all that stuff, right? So it's fantastic. Anyway, one of the highlights that I want to uh, present to you came when Coates asked AOC to talk about a proposal for a 70% marginal tax rate on people making over $10 million a year. Now, that policy, of course, is incredibly popular when you present it to the American people. They're like, yes, yes, let, yes let's tax the rich and then use that to help regular people. Let's use it to do something like a Green New Deal. Also something incredibly popular, even among Republicans. So now... In her answer, she says this, quote, The question of marginal tax rates is a policy question, but it's also a moral question. What kind of society do we want to live in? Are we comfortable with a society where someone can have a personal helipad while this city is experiencing the highest levels of poverty and homelessness since the Great Depression? No, it's not. Uh, I'm not saying that Bill Gates or Warren Buffett are immoral. But a system that allows billionaires to exist when there are parts of Alabama where people are still getting ringworm because they don't have access to public health is wrong. I think it's wrong the majority of the country doesn't make a living wage. I think it's wrong that you can work 100 hours and not feed your kids. I think it's wrong that corporations like Walmart and Amazon can get paid by the government experiencing a wealth transfer from the public for paying people less than a minimum wage. It not only doesn't make economic sense, it doesn't make moral sense. I love that answer. That is a great answer. Now, I, uh, one of the references she made, it was kind of an incorrect reference, but it, that's fine. People mistake all the time. Um, it was actually hookworm. So ringworm's a little different, but come on. She was basically referencing uh, a county in Alabama where residents get hookworm because they lack basic sanitation. So that is basic sanitation is public health. So you have people in Alabama living in places where there, there's no, there's no uh, sanitation at all. So people are living next to open sewage. And that is next to water pipes where people get their water. So they end up getting exposed to human sewage, right? Raw sewage. Well, guess what? That breeds disease. That breeds uh, parasites. And in fact, one of the parasites was hookworm, which really only exists or should exist. We thought we got rid of it here in America back in like the 60s. So, or either the 60, 60s or the 80s. We thought we got rid of it, but it's still here. It's still here in Alabama. Now, look, this isn't Venezuela, right? It's not one of those countries where, oh, the infrastructure is so terrible. And, and I, I don't use Venezuela as a real example, but Republicans always want to scream, ah, oh, if you do any of AOC's proposals, we're going to end up like Venezuela. We're going to be eating rats. Well, here in America, under American capitalism, we have people living next to open raw sewage and getting diseases that you only get in third world countries. But at least we live like capitalists every day, right? Look, this is, these are miserable conditions. And so I love that she mentioned that, right? And all that she's asking is, how can uh, that happen in a country that has billionaires? And the reason is, of course, we have a corrupt system. And we have, yes, a deeply immoral system that is driven by greed, that hoards all the resources at the top and doesn't distribute it fairly to the people. And so 
I love that she gave that answer. She is absolutely correct. And I love that she's driving the situation. And again, these are popular policies that most of Americans actually agree with. And so, look, a AOC is a magnet for controversy. Not, not because of what she says is controversial, right? I mean, not to us, not to regular human beings. Because that answer, you identify, right? She identifies with regular people because she is regular people, right? No, the reason that it's controversial or that she's treated as some controversial figure is because she makes the rich very nervous. You now, those people, those pundits on TV, right? They're all multimillionaires. So when somebody talks about raising taxes for people making over $10 million a year, these TV pundits, they all make $10 million or more a year. Like, that's going to be us. Oh, how radical. This is such a radical thing. No, what's radical uh, is and, and, and immoral, too, because, again, conservatives love to make the, the argument that taxing people's wealth is immoral, right? Well, living in a country that treats its poor so terribly that they get diseases or not only that, but if they get cancer and they can't afford health care, they die. That's immoral. And so I love that she's making this point and she's talking about this because before her, there were very, very few people, maybe Bernie Sanders, uh, or actually not just maybe Bernie Sanders, but Bernie Sanders, definitely Ro Khanna and other progressives that were talking about it, but we weren't getting much media attention because of it. And now AOC has helped frame the conversation into where we're actually having discussions about this. And I think it's great. So keep on going, AOC. Keep on going. Hey, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.